Hey, this is Real Talk where I keep it real and keep you encouraged. Before we get into our topic tonight, I just want to call out my cousin Yvonne who is doing her thing and being herself. And Yvonne, I just want to encourage you to share your voice with the world and also to share your story because you are the only one who can share your story and I believe it will change the world. So, with that said, our topic tonight is friendship. Friends, frenemies, and how to upgrade your friendship circle. As far as frenemies go, they're everywhere. I mean, everyone has at least one frenemy. So how do you know if you actually have a frenemy? Well, it's that friend that you have and you can hang out with and you can chill and whatnot. But there's something about them that you just don't quite trust. You'll start to tell them something and something in your brain says stop right about there because your business is about to be spread. Or it's that friend who you love to hang out with. And they seem really nice, but you would never trust them alone with your man. And y'all know who I'm talking about. So that is a frenemy, okay? But frenemies aren't the only types of friends that we need to be concerned with. We have friends who bring us down spiritually, emotionally, and even physically, okay? And so these are people that we really need to get out of our friendship circle. Now, if you are trying to get to that next level in your life, then you're going to have to do away with the pessimistic people, uh, the haters, the gossipers, just plain stupid people. You know, and I'm not talking about intellectually stupid. I mean, people who just stupid. They do stuff for no good reason at all. Like, hey, man, let's go get into some trouble tonight. And then they actually get in trouble. You end up in jail. And I mean, just stupidness. You don't want to hang out with those people because the stupid will start to rub off on you. And I mean that. So we really want to think about uh, the people that we hang around with because we are the company we keep. So maybe you're thinking, wow, my friendship circle is jacked up. Don't be discouraged. I'm going to let, let you know a few ways that you could gradually upgrade your friendship circle and gently cut those people out of it. Now, with any friends you have, you don't want to just straight up cut them off like very abruptly because it's just not classy and when you do it gradually that gives that other person a chance to be like you know what they're kind of drawn away away from me I might need to you know step up my game be a better friend or also it gives you time to think about you know do I really want this person out of my close friendship circle what happens when you do it real quick and just cut someone off because you get mad or annoyed months down the road you're thinking man I wish I had a you know talk to that person or kind of work that out because I kind of miss them and it wasn't worth it so you want to do that gradually now in order to do it gradually you should remain friendly don't be rude and nasty and all stank or anything just you know be nice um, keep your conversation with them at a surface level. You don't want to go too deep because the more personal information you share, it's a tested theory, the closer you become to someone. So naturally, if you start to share less intimate details of your life, you'll start to kind of distance yourself from that person. As you are evaluating your friendship circle, at the same time, you need to be seeking out new friends. You want to not just look any old where, but you want to look for people who you admire, people who have the, the qualities that you want to attain. Hang out in different places. I mean, if you're hanging out at the club every Friday and you're all annoyed about the people who are there, like, oh, these people are just, uh, well, stop hanging out at the club. Try a different place. Join a special interest group. I don't know, but do something else that, that lifts you up and puts you around folks that you actually want uh, to be around. Now, as you do this, eventually your old friends will start to naturally dissolve. And it's a great thing because no one can ever point the finger and be like, she cut me off. Mm -mm. You know, no one can say that. It'll just kind of be like, you know, we just kind of grew apart and it's, it's all good, you know, and no one's feelings are hurt. And that's really the best way to do it. But before you start chopping people out of your friendship circle, I encourage you to count your blessings because real friends are few and far in between. And remember that friends are people and people are imperfect. So somewhere along your journey in life, your friends will disappoint you. The challenge for you this week is to think about, is this a person that I want to journey with? Are they worth the, the disappointments? Um, and if they are, 
you keep them there and if they're not you really find ways to cut them out of your friendship circle i'll see you guys next tuesday on real talk keeping it real and keeping you encouraged